I'm Richard Southern in the 680 newsroom. Red hot housing. We got the latest Toronto housing numbers in for the month of December and it capped off what was a record breaking year in 2016 here in the GTA. Some pretty astonishing numbers. Let's start with December. Sales up 8.6% on a year over year basis. The average selling price last month above $730,000 up a whopping 20% from December 2015. And again, that capped off a massive year. Let's take a look at the 2016 totals. Full year sales up 11.8% over 2015. Get this, $82.6 billion worth of homes were sold last year in the GTA, up almost 20 billion from 2015. And the average selling price just shy of $730,000, up 17.3%. The average detached price in Toronto close to 1.3 million. What does this tell us? Well, it tells us that the government controls the changes that Ottawa has made to the housing market to try and cool it off simply haven't worked. It continues to be a supply demand imbalance. There are more buyers out there than there are homes to be sold. In fact, new listings fell to a 15 year low in December. Meantime, retail woes and a lot of them in the U.S. today. Sears said it was closing 150 of its U.S. stores as well as selling its Craftsman Tool brand. That'll bring in $900 million. All this as uh, Sears Holdings looks to shore up its balance sheet. It's been struggling with soft sales. Sears uh, said it had a very bad holiday season in the U.S. Same store sales at its Sears and Kmart stores down in a range of 12 to 13 percent in the November, December period. And uh, certainly what we're seeing here is the Amazon effect. That online retailer had a record breaking holiday season taking business away from established retailers like Sears. Now, no changes to Sears Canada announced today, but of course, Sears Canada over the past few years has been closing stores and laying off employees. Interestingly enough, Sears stock, where did it go today? Up sharply. Company owns a lot of valuable real estate. Investors anticipate that to get sold off in the coming years, bringing in some revenue. Next, a revolution when it comes to Lego, those popular toy bricks. Lego showing off this new invention at the Consumer Electronics Show. It's going to go on sale soon. It's called Lego Boost. These new kits come with instructions to build all sorts of things, from robots to cats to guitars. The kids, though, then use an app to program them, and the Lego creations come to life and move around and even talk. Lego has been slow to add technology to its toys, but we're seeing more and more uh, companies do that. And what this does is teach kids to program. It's a coding tool. The sets will sell for 160 bucks. Finally, BlackBerry may have stopped making phones, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to see any more BlackBerry smartphones created. Companies are making them via license, and we've got a new one coming out. And lo and behold, it has a physical keyboard. A lot of people are going to like that. It's called the BlackBerry Mercury. Uh, it, too, getting uh, debuted at the Consumer Electronics Show. What's interesting is that the physical keyboard on this device doubles as a touchpad, and a fingerprint sensor is embedded into the physical space bar. Of course, BlackBerry itself, the Canadian company, focusing more now on software, particularly that which will run autonomous cars. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.